or else we're gonna we have a, a president saying once the looting starts the shooting starts you have a president that. talking about the second amendment as a use for people yeah. to come out here and use firearms you against the people that are protesting yeah. this is the messages that we're seeing i don't know if you on social media because the news don't tell you everything hey guys and welcome to little black fucking on time it is all right we're going to talk to you guys about uh kiki palmer the legend baby i'm also going to address as well jackie ayner's um tweet as well she actually put about um correcting someone about the strong black female so we're going to discuss that and just kind of just have a little chit chat about that hey if you're new to my channel let me let you know this do me a favor click on the like share and subscribe baby you know what I'm saying? And then click on that bell button for the creature of the uploads, baby. And for those of you returnees, you already know the minerals, baby. You got the minerals, you got the minerals, eh. Woo! Alright, cool. So, obviously, if you guys watched the video, we're talking about Kiki Palmer here addressing the military men. So, we're just going to let you watch that. Um, beautiful video. I love the fact that Kiki Palmer, as a black woman, standing strong, delivering um, a, a word to these people, like letting them know, listen, this is not acceptable. Stand with us. You know, sometimes it's easy, you know, it's easy to shoot me in my back, but stand face to face is different. You understand? And not to say that military people are going to shoot her or anything, but to say like, it's easy when people don't see you to say something. But when they see you, can they say it? You know what I mean? Um, and so this is where oftentimes there's a lot of, um, I would say, uh, behavior that is done when somebody's not looking. In the sense of, for us black people, certain people, certain demographic don't say certain things to our face. They say it behind our back. You understand? Um, and the reason why they say it behind our back is because the, the, the courage it takes to say it to our face, yeah, is different. And the reason why is because some of the things that they say, they know it's wrong. Some of the things they do, they know it's wrong. Uh, you know, and, and, and what I loved about Kiki Palmer's um, deliverance here is that she really did try to empathize, first of all, by trying to get them to emotion, trying to emotionally appeal to these men to get them to understand, listen, you know, this is something that your, your march with us is showing us that you're on our side, that you're here to serve the people. But I have to say something. When I did a bit of research, even just walking through the comments, the military don't necessarily serve the people. They serve the institution, the country. They serve those that is in power. So... Um, I also understand the militants um, also uh, wanting to, you know, walk with her up the road, but not all the way up, you know, not, walk, not walking off the post because they had a job to do, all right? And I think this is where we also, as well as black people, have to be very understanding as well. And the fact that we want to see every aspect of things coming together to work on our good. Um, like the Bible says, you know, for those who love the, the, love the Lord, all things are working out for their good. But in this particular case, I understand that they couldn't leave their post. Can you take a nil? I don't know. They ain't enough for me. They ain't enough for me. love is the fact that they decided that they would take a knee now some people say what's a knee gonna do but listen i'd rather see you take a knee at this moment because that means at least at least something at least something is being done in your mind there's a mindset shift at least because let me tell you something they're, listen this particular fact we're about, there's so much pride in it they wouldn't even take a knee so for that for them to take a knee and for them to issue everybody in this platoon and the guys to, to do that same thing as well i appreciate it you know i know kiki palmer was saying it wasn't enough it wasn't enough but she had to. But she doesn't. She doesn't understand also that these guys can get punished differently. Um, you know, when I researched, it, they can really get put in the in the brig, um, be in prison for a certain amount of days. Like that, 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 it's different. It's not like police force where they can just do anything they want and go off course. And and if they decide to march, you know, and look or maybe a little tap on your hand, it's not the same thing with the military. They don't play. So I understand why they couldn't do what they need to do. But I respect it so much that they would take a knee and a bow. I respect the fact they had dialogue. I respect the fact they had a, a decent conversation. I respect that they didn't. They didn't push Kiki Palmer away uh, and tell her to go and do one. You know, they had a conversation, they had a dialogue. Um, and even when they were kneeling, you could see a bit of fear in their eyes. You know, we don't, we don't know what's going to happen. I mean, potentially, they're not meant to be political. They could potentially be, anything could happen to them after this. You know what I'm saying? So let me shout out those people and say, look, we appreciate you. And these are the little sacrifices. Like, we're not asking people to do the absolute most. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like, little things like this can help push the movement and, and really put into limelight that we're bringing change in 2020. 
Um, so I really appreciate Kiki Palmer. And again, it just shows us again how important, how critical black women are to this movement and how critical and important black women are to our fabric of society. How important black women are when it comes to the black family in general. And so we as black men have a duty and we have an absolute responsibility to look after our black women. We came out of black women. So there's no way we should be leaving them behind. There's no way that we should be leaving them to take the brunt and the force. You understand? So I appreciate Kihu Palmer standing up on our behalf, doing legendary things. You understand? And, and, and elevating us. And it has always been the case. Even years ago beforehand, we were seeing black women march um, um, for, you know, killings before with Trayvon Martin. Even Stephen Lawrence in the UK we had. Like, black women have always been on the front. You understand? Um, and I know there's a little bit of a conversation around whether black men support black women as much. And I'll be honest with you, I don't think black men, black men do as much. You know, I, I, I don't think we do as much in return for black women. And I believe that's something we need to change. That's a conversation that needs to be had. That's a conversation that needs to be had. Um, I don't think... I don't think... Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think... Um, we, 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 we support the black women as we need to. And I know if I put that comment there, bare black men will be like, he's a pandering guy, da, da, da. but exactly that. When you start saying pandering, you already missed my point. You haven't, you haven't actually said anything. You just cussed me and insulted me. Rather than dealing with the actual facts of what we're talking about, which is that we often don't support them as much as we need to support them. You know, they don't feel supported. Therefore, we need to start having a, a broader conversation around what is our role as black men? How do we support our black women? You understand? Um, you know, how, how, do we, how, do we, how do we really put our black women back on the pedestal because like the we say it all the time but the truth of the matter is we are probably one of the only races that really do actually destroy our own women we are one of those races that because of the, the the oppression that we face and i understand it like when you look at the history of what we've gone through people will say race uh, his, uh, slavery was years ago but the effects of it don't stop we've we had segregation from 1950s onwards so let's not talk about that we had jim crow from 19 from like eight from 19 about early 1900s um too late so all of that has played a part in the way that we view each other as black men and black women. So I appreciate Kika Palmer and I know there's a conversation we need to have and we need to discuss around our input in towards supporting black women um, when it comes to other things in life as well. Um, and I, I always say this well, you can't have a conversation about um, race without having a conversation also about gender um, in the sense of the fact that how we deal with our female gender, do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, so I really appreciate Kiki Palmer for that. Um, talking about obviously Jackie Aina and her particular um, tweet, she puts up on the tweet that uh, um, strong black women. And I think this is one of the things I think we need to address. Um, black women are strong, um, but when we use it, in, the way we use it, we use it in a way that has a negative connotation in the sense of there's been so many strong black women that have been doing stuff that shouldn't have been doing on their own. You create a baby, a man and a woman, and you say, nah, you look after it. Um, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. And the black man goes off and does what he needs to go and do. Maybe have a second baby mama, maybe a third baby mama. Um, and as much as, it may, as much as we may ask questions, what does that even mean? The truth of the matter is, then the tagline comes in, strong black woman who decides she's not going to die on the line there, she's not going to give up, she's not going to... She's not gonna, she's not gonna, um, let her kid go starving or she's not, she's not gonna die um, the fact that she you know she's been brutally assaulted or or even raped or sexually assaulted by a male she's gonna stand strong and she's gonna continue moving forward and so we put this tagline on black women strong black women to do everything for us and therefore black men that oftentimes don't grow up in our generation right because there's strong black women around right and so this is the problem that we're talking about when it says strong black women that everything gets put onto the black woman's shoulders to handle and we actually make little black girls um, they have to grow up even faster. They have to mature even faster. They're not allowed to be women because the, the world doesn't allow them to be so. And it's because also at the same time, there are not enough black men who are really, really just putting their arms around, just causing a refuge to be around black women. There's no safety. So what happens is these women have to grow up faster to defend for themselves. You know, and that's sad. Um, so I appreciate Jackie Aina getting onto the tweet because it made sense. Like, you can't keep calling women, this black woman strong black women because... All it's doing is feeding the narrative that black women uh, are the ones that are meant to carry the whole weight of the world. If it should carry the weight of the world upon its shoulders. You know what I mean? So, <clears throat> um, yeah, I, I, I totally understand it. And there is a, there's a great conversation we need to have. Um, you guys have seen my videos where I talk about the black man's program to kill black women. Um, I speak about the history of... Of, of, of being conditioned by black men to, to like other races and other preference other races is above their own. Um, we've, been, we've been conditioned a lot of us. We've been, we've been programmed a lot of us. 
And many people won't like it because it means checking their own programming and going, okay, the whole world being shaken and turned upside down. It's a bit like exiting the matrix. People won't want to exit the matrix because that's what they've ever known. You know what I'm saying? And it's scary to think that your world could be turned upside down. You feel me? And not make sense anymore. So yeah, guys, big shout out to Kiki Parma. Big shout out to Jackie, Jackie Aina, um, who actually really got involved and helped in this, um, in this movement as well. So guys, stay locked, stay loaded, more love, and make sure you have a great day today. Appreciate it, guys.